All right, everybody. This is JB, weekend hooker. For all my eastward boat owners, I'm gonna give you a couple little tips as to where you might see some water intrusion getting down into the sponsons on the left and right side, port and starboard. We're looking at the starboard side here. Um, there's a drain plug right here. And if you jack the nose of the boat up high, pull that plug, sometimes you're gonna get water coming out. Well, I had that problem early on. So, in the live well, you can see where I've put, you can see where I've put some 4200. I'm gonna try and talk soft because it's echoing in here. And you can see my hands on the phone. All right. So anyway, you can take a basting or a, uh, an icing, basically cake icing knife, and put your heavy bead and then seal that around. If you look at that, whenever the sunlight is hitting it perfect, you'll see that it's a single, single layer of glass, okay? And you see through it. So when I pressurized my live well, I started getting a lot of water in my sponsons. Inside of your bait well, right here, you can take these screws off, and what you'll see is, is that the deck joint right here where this piece of kusa comes in, okay, there is a half inch to three quarter opening right here, all right? So that joint, this bait well, the lid isn't fully sealed. So it's pressurizing over into the interior portion of this, getting down and flowing into your sponson, okay? After I sealed this, I have pressurized the live well multiple times, have yet to have any other issues with a significant amount of water getting in. When I say significant, over the course of a day, it's probably two to five gallons in each, each sponson. This, the right <clears throat> starboard sponson for me, was the one getting most of the, uh, the water. Okay. So now, another area that you can look at or just avoid spraying water in is right here this is where your fuel line goes down and hits the tanks well this is just going down and then it's an open um, tube into the tank if you're spraying water into this or if rain's hitting at the right angle you're going to get water down into your sponsor okay that's why there's drain plugs in there to get the water out so water doesn't sit in your drain plugs now up front this is a rigging tube. That rigging tube has the potential to leak, okay? That goes back to your center console. So this front port and starboard hatch on the boats, if you have these, I'm sure you do, those come into your center console and they end up in a hot mess area right here, okay? Mine is full of bunch of cores right now. Perfect place for it. And on the back side over there. Okay. So that's where you're getting water in, unless you have a cracked hole. And I doubt you do, because the holes on these things are like two and a half inches thick. Anyway, um, still love the boat. Just went out and hammered some blue line tile fish. Um, I guess I'll show everybody one more thing. I think you all have these, but the uh, liquid tie bar. That's your liquid tie bar. So if your motors get out of alignment, you open this, okay? And then your starboard motor will still be connected to the hydraulics. Your port motor will not. And so what I do is the mercury emblem on my boat is exactly six foot on center from this part of the mercury emblem to that motor right there so i just get this motor straight open the tie bar get this motor straight and then measure six foot i said six inches maybe six foot to that one and she's perfectly in tune and i'll say that my fuel mileage is pretty consistent with both motors when i do that when they start to get out, especially at anything over 30, 32 knots, I will see uh, 
a significant amount of fuel burn on the port motor the left the port motor will burn more than the starboard motor all right Got any more questions happy to help boats at the house i can come out take a look at it anytime still love it it's a beast we headed out of oregon inlet this past weekend and we were probably the 30th boat heading out and we were the first to get to the uh the gulf stream at uh, 48 miles why because she's badass peace